You guys already know we're about to do some junkyard picking. Ooh. We're getting all kind of different stuff today than we normally see. Today we're running through and pull apart actually. And we're gonna check out some car parts that you might want to check on the channel. Let's go in here, see what they got. What did you say? Just like build a bear but for race cars. <laughs> yes, God. We haven't been here in a couple years. The same scenario as it, the U pull it that we go in Youngstown. Got a, quite a few vehicles to go through here, but it we used to be able to come out here and find three, four, five different Explorers, GT40 setups. But there is an 87 Mustang here. I guarantee it's stripped out like you wouldn't believe. I love doing this shit. I like bringing it to the channel. It's kind of like therapy for me. So we're also going to go to the Akron yard, which is about 20 minutes from here. See, they have three pull aparts here in Northeast Ohio that are all kind of close to each other. We'll check out some of the other pull-aparts, but then we'll check the big one out in Cleveland on another day. This little yard brings back a lot of memories. Actually, my 351 came from this yard. That's that 408. You know, the 408 stroker we have on the channel came from an E250 sitting here in the middle of this yard. Still good today. I think it had about 180,000 miles on it when I pulled it out. So we'll walk through. Same, same sort of format as the u pull it in Youngstown, just a different company. So it kind of looks like the format here is, must be just the truck section and then must be passenger vehicles up here. They did that similar in you pull it. So I gotta be paying attention to some of these. Some of these might be a 351 Windsor. So they're actually changing it to where you can put all the trucks in one spot. So they're gonna put all the Chevys in the Fords and it looks like they already started that. So we'll go through and check. Maybe we might find a aluminum LS, you never know. Or a nice 351 Windsor. So we knew we ended up finding an 87 coupe. Pretty nice little stripped out car for the most part. Not much here in the interior. Some door panels, some regulators. Got some quarter windows on there. Those are always nice. It's got a dash, it's probably busted, I'm sure. Pretty bad. Hmm. It's unfortunate to see, but this is what Ohio will be doing to us. Would have probably made a pretty good show at some point for somebody, you know. But it is what it is. We'll keep trucking through the Ford section, see if we can't find us an Explorer or two. So on this row, there should be a 96 Explorer that was on the list. And that's one thing we're gonna probably check real quick. Pretty neat to see an old 83. I think this is a Granada, is that right? Old school, it's a Marquise, Mercury Marquise, old school, baby. Not terrible, terrible, but you don't see old ones like this much anymore in the 
pull apart yards. OG baby. Got it on the column. Still some good parts in there. Old school car, baby. I see the Explorer up there. That's kind of lame. Just a little 4.0. It is what it is. Wasn't a whole lot in this yard, even though it's big. supposed to be a 2002 Mustang here too. Wow. Don't see a lot of these. I'll stop if I notice something. Maybe you guys comment below if you notice something. What the? Got some Cobra R's, bro. And this is why you walk through and you don't pay attention to those lists that they have. Cause this 2001 wasn't even on there. Look at these tires, man. These tires are in excellent condition. For, I don't see any dry cracking. Let me guess there's a lock in here somewhere. Nope, I don't see that. Decent little interior. Not really important. I think those airbags are actually pretty expensive. Little V6. Probably just come back and grab those, those wheels. I mean, it's a pull apart. They're all the same price. A little bit of scotch bright. I mean, it looks like they're peeling a little bit, but you could paint those up and clean them. No problem. For the price you would get for them, plus you could almost take this five lug swap and put it as well as taking the brackets in the back and uh, you have yourself a five lug swap fox body just sitting from this car in the junkyard we're getting all kind of different stuff today than we normally see got a little thunderbird super coupe definitely don't see these very often at all like if ever we got the old red interior Let's check to see what's under the hood though Dave would be proud that I even stopped at this. Thunderbirds came with a factory supercharger. Looks like somebody was already getting ready to start messing with it. Maybe taking it off, I don't know. Definitely be reporting this to Dave, showing him that it's out here in the uh, junkyard. Not that he'd probably need it, but. Now in this sort of a pick, I think these had like 30 pound injectors in them as well, if I'm not mistaken, from the factory. And like I said, comes with a root style. I think that's an M90. I've actually seen this on Fox Body 302 motors. We actually did a video of one that was put on there. Check it out. We got some, uh, what is this, a 4.6? This would be a super easy pick. We got some headers we could grab real quick. We got some spindles. I mean, all you'd have to really do is saws all that control arm and just take the whole damn thing. Even though it's all junk, they'd probably only charge you for the spindle. Some easy money right there. And it's sitting right there on the ground. Yeah. I think some of these Taurus motors had the 24 pound injectors, but you only get like six of them. Pretty good little pick for you guys that are trying to get a little bit more injector into your Fox body. I think it's the EV6 style, but it's the little skinny ones, but seen about three of those already here in the earlier rows, like 12 sets of injectors or three sets of six. So that's like 18 injectors right there. That's the, that's the four sprayer too, like the 19 pound ones you get out of the Explorer. Pretty good piece. Old Ohio ain't been very good to this old truck. Just went through about 15 rows. I thought it was actually shorter than that and I was wrong. So what did we actually find? Well, found a modular motor with some headers on it and an actual spindle just sitting right on the frame. Found a coupe that had some spare parts in it. Had a passenger side glass that could be used. Maybe a little bit of dash parts, but it's picked pretty clean. Sadly, that thing was pretty rotted out. 
We also found a Mustang, an 01 Mustang that had Cobra R wheels on it with good tires. And you can grab the spindles from that. You can grab the brakes from that. You could actually grab the backing plates from the rear axle as well and the gears. So there's a lot of stuff on that one that's just sitting here rotting too. I mean, the Explorer still had an 8.8 in it, even though it was a 4.0. So there's some gears and a diff there. Surprised to see a Super Coupe here. That's got 30 pound injectors in it. Plus it's actually got a root style blower that you could actually mount up to a Fox body. Found what I think is an aluminum LS, which I know that we don't do LS and Chevy stuff here on this channel, but that doesn't mean that we're not gonna bring a GM to the channel at some point, but it'll be GM products with GM products. Cause that's pretty much what I cut my teeth on when I first started doing engine builds. But nonetheless, we got through the yard. I love picking through, you know, you pull it and pull apart and I know you guys like to enjoy this stuff on our channel, so I figured I'd bring this to you today. So if you guys enjoy this sort of stuff, seeing something that I didn't see, comment below, let me know what you guys think. Not much in this yard like you normally see, not a super fancy video. I appreciate everybody for watching. Check out that join button below, become a member of the channel. Outside of that, see you in the next video.